Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy, B, back here on the YouTube channel, playing some more Elder Scrolls Oblivion. If you guys have been enjoying the videos, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion videos, and the whole series as a whole, make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave a subscribe, leave a comment down below, which I've been seeing all your guys' comments, alright? I read all the comments, alright? So thank you for the kind words, my friends, alright? And uh, hit the bell too as well. If you if you want, you don't have to do it. I'm just letting you know that option is there for you guys if you ever choose to do so. So let's get started on today's video. We have a lot of things to do, and I want to just get immediately started because I am going to go skating after this because it's super nice out right now. It's super nice out right now, and it's not even like 1 p.m. yet. So I got I want to kind of you know. Mm, hurry this up, but I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know um, Degrade the quality of the video because I want to go skating, you know, but I'm just saying like, you know I Have other things that I want to do today guys, but um, this is definitely very important for today. Isn't that right? My good friend Joel ring as well as Umbacano We're just vibing out with the homies. So if you guys haven't watched the last episode I highly suggest you guys watch that it would explain why we are here at Umbacano's Manor. We ended up giving him an Aelid statue. And also, while returning back an Aelid statue to our friend Umbacano, he gave us a quest. And let's go ahead and read the quest again. And I actually played a little bit off camera yesterday, which I shouldn't have because we were approached by a NPC because of Umbacano. So shortly, we are going to see an interaction with an NPC in like a couple of minutes once we leave his manor or his mansion. But let's go ahead and look at this quest about this like high fane, right? <clears throat> so the quest is called Nothing You Can Possess. Hold on. Sorry. So it's called, yeah, Nothing You Can Possess. Umbakano has asked me to retrieve a carved panel from an alien site known only as the high fane in his sources. He has given me a sketch which will help me identify this ruin as well as one of the carving as well as one of the carving which he wants. He also gave me a carved stone key which will allow me to enter the central chamber of the High Fane when I find it. So that's what we're doing this for. Um, oh, and he's gonna give me 2,500 gold? Nice. I mean, I don't really need gold anymore. Um, but just for the quest, it's fun, you know? So I don't know where it is. Let's go ahead and just, let me get out of this seat. Let me get out of here. You choose to share your time with me? You humble me. Oh, thanks, guy. No, yeah, of course, man. You're you're chill. You're chill, bro. All right. Um, where is the thing? Grantham Blakely. Who? Who is this? Grant Grantham. Oh, I think this is for the um forlorn watchman quest, right? We need to find um. This is for no. That's not it. We need to find the um, Umbacano's little sketch. Yeah, here we go. Sketch of the high fane, right here. Boom. All right, entrance to High Fane. What, dude? Carved panel, carved a lid wall. So the carved panel is inside of the wall. Reference Chronicles of the Brothers of Maruk, Volume Three, Part Twenty Two. Dude, this guy is like some freaking. Well, actually, no. I was gonna say it's like some kindergartner thing, but no, this is actually very well sketched out. This is like an actual artist doing this. Um, but this gives this gives me nothing. But the right image does provide me with a little bit of what I'm supposed to be looking for. It's just like a slab. Looks like it's got like veins going all in there, like cracks all through in it. All right, boys. So we have the Oblivion version of freaking Indiana Jones. I think. I'll see you guys later. So yeah, guys. Hold on, I'm recording right. Yeah, I'm definitely am recording right. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta um. We're gonna leave and we're gonna be interrupted by an NPC who knows about the High Fane. So let's go ahead and see what this NPC has to say to us. Oh, you know, just walking casually. You oh, hey there. Plaything. Well met. Plaything. I am Claude Marrick, another pawn in Numbacano's game. Pawn. I always enjoy meeting my rival treasure hunters. What? Did you think you were the only one? <laughs> Come, let's have a drink together. A drink. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, this is pretty cool. 
<clears throat> this is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Let's go have a drink with um Claude Merrick. So he's one of Umbacano's pawn. He's probably sent on the same mission of finding this slab for Umbacano. But he, he seems like he, he calls us like his rival, his treasure hunter rival. And so we're going into the Tiber Septum Hotel to catch a, to catch a nice little drink with um, Hello. Claude Merrick. Is there anyone in the city who knows more about and there's Claude over there. If you want to learn about the art, on you. a drink bar, my friend, is the one to talk to. What? See you. Be seeing you. What is he doing? Now then, oh, okay, here we go. A toast. To Umbacano, may his purse never run dry. What? Why do you care so much about his money? Farewell, my friend. Where's my drink? This guy didn't eat. This guy told me. Uh, this guy's saying, hey, let's have a drink. Doesn't even buy the dang drink for me, freaking cheap ass. Alright, freaking. Get over here. Sit, sit your ass back down. Sit your ass back down. I'm not done talking to you, alright? We can't even sit next to the guy. All right, we'll just talk to him right here. And so we meet again. What can I do for you? What do you mean? You gotta tell me what's up. You know what? I will help you. Although it is liable to get you killed. The High Fane is now known as Malada. Malada? The Dallas Mountains. But I do not advise you to go there. Read the cleansing of the Fane first. Then decide. As I said, a very bad place. Cleansing of the Fane? Hold on, let me turn down the music volume. Music volume was kind of loud. Is he about to leave? Dude, what's up with this guy? He's like all over the place. He's like all over the place. Music volume... Just a little bit lower. Told you. But I'm sure you'll be fine. What? No, no, sit back down. Yeah, yeah. And so we meet it. Alright, here we go. Uh, Malata? What's Must this? Must I hold your hand? <laughs> Dang. I begin to wonder what Umbacano sees in you. It is an alien ruin in the far west of this province. Up in the Vallas Mountains. Okay. Umbacano. Our mutual employer really tells us the whole story, but he pays very well. Yeah, right. Why does he want not all these that things? I should be giving advice to one of my rivals. <laughs> yeah, why well, is this guy's like some freaking um? This guy's like freaking Gary, man. Get out of here, dude. Freaking lamo. I don't own it. One of the rare book dealers in the market district may have a copy. Mm. Read it. Educate yourself. Okay. That's it. Farewell, my friend. See you later, Claude. Um, you, you're an a-hole, though. You offered me to get drinks. You just got a drink for yourself, man. Didn't even give me a drink, freaking bastard. Ya bastard. Oh, I can't wait to do the Imperial City. We have so many buildings to explore. So many new friends to talk to. Oh, it's gonna be great. Alright, but where's this book, though? So we found Malada. Um, uh, Malana has a, advised you to be the cleansing of the who? We gotta find a bookstore. So let's find a bookstore in the, um... In the Imperial City. Probably at the, uh, Market District, if I was to make a guess. Make a nice little guessy poo. Guys, sorry, we are, um... We are not doing what we're supposed to be intending to intended to do in this video because of this little minor um, little detour here with Mbakano and Claude Merrick now. Um, but after we get this book, we are going to go straight into the Sorry, that was what the heck. Into a door in Nibbin Bay quest, which is actually our very first quest that we got. So we're going to go ahead and do that because it is literally right next to Breville where we have been playing currently. So let's just uh, go ahead and do that vibe. But uh, let me find the book here. Let me find the book. Let's find Let's try to find it. Uh, Mystic Emporium. Might that sound like it'll sell like some books. Divine Elegance. Render staffs, discount spell, shields, sewers, copious coin purse, first edition. That's like that sounds like a place that'll sell books. But it's not um it's not open yet. So let's let's take a little let's do a little waiting action. Let's play a little waiting game. And um yeah. 
Dude, this guy keeps on offering me some low ball offer on eBay. Dude, I can't take that offer, dude. I can't take that Spare offer. For the I have to be a little bit high on this. Please. Please. Yo, guys, there was also a Nike SB Dunk restock, but not really like a restock. Some people did hit, but not on like the hype stuff, which were the Yudos. The Fly Street Wears, SB, and there's all SB Dunk Lows. Um, mm, I think those were just like the two heavy hitters, right? And then I we, I did see some W's on Huff's. I did see Huff Lows. And I did see some W's on the Run the Jewels Lows as well. And then a lot of people were able to hit on Orange Emerald Rises because they had a good amount of those. Um, I could have doubled up on my Orange Emerald Rise, but... Definitely want to save up for those wheat SBs as well as the Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined. So, did you guys hit? And this is for US only, I believe. So, did you guys hit anything for the SB Dunk Reserve? I know some people did. And guys, it was extremely hard and difficult. And it was a legit shock drop. Um, it happened at 12 p.m. EST. So, if you were there, you were there. I was there. I managed to enter in on all of the ones that I wanted. Which were the Yudos, Fly Street Wears, Huff Lows, Run the Jewel Lows. Took L's instantly, not instantly, like it was like a minute, and uh, but like after a minute passed, L's, L L L L. But you know what? <clears throat> it's okay because Nike <clears throat> Nike has been blessing your boy with SBs, and um, I'm, I I just I just hope I just have a feeling that they're gonna hook me up with the wheats, so I'll be able to skate them. So that's gonna be super dope. So if anyone at Nike's watching, I do have the black fogs that you guys have given me, but. If I hit the wheats, I'm gonna skate in the wheats. But if I don't hit the wheats, I'm just gonna skate in the black fogs, you know? So, um. Yeah, that's my game plan. And then we're gonna make a TikTok on it. Guys, follow me on TikTok. It's in my about page and my YouTube channel. And follow me on IG and all that stuff. Help. Please and thank you. What Sell me the I dang book, you? guy. What is he? What do you want? What is the book called? We're going to play the game a little bit. We could straight up go to Malata. Well, well actually, not now because, but, um, if we wanted to, you know, if we wanted to just be boring, we could have just straight up gone to Malata. But no, let's read the book. Let's have a little fun, guys. The Cleansing of the Fane. Good day. Yeah, so what this can dang I book. you with? Cleansing of the Fane. And it's right here, baby. Give me that. Another satisfied customer. Thank you, Fintius. I Good shall read day. this book in your store if you don't mind. Might as well just, you know, pop a little squat right here. Sniff some little flowers. <laughs> Ooh, smells nice. Just kidding, I couldn't smell anything there. Alright, how many pages is this? Oh, it's only four pages. Let's read, guys. So this is for the Umbacano quest, the Aeliad stat Aeliad statue, Aeliad slab quest, whatever, freaking return the slab quest, you know what I'm saying? Alright, but anyways, the Chronicles of the Holy Brothers of Maruk, volume 4, right? IV is 4, or the Cleansing of the Fane. So the Chronicles of the Holy Brothers of Maruk, or the Cleansing of the Fane? Huh? Editor's note, this is the only surviving fragment of the Chronicle of the First Era sect of the Alessian Order. It seems to have been kept at their great monastic complex at Lake Can Canulus, which was raised during the War of Righteousness. 1E, 2321, and its archives destroyed or dispersed. Note also that Alessian scribes of this time customarily dated events from the apotheosis of Alessia, 1E, 266. Here is recorded the events of the year 127 of the blessed Alessia. In this year was the day darkened over all lands, and the sun was all as it were, Ma all, uh, all as it were, master, but three days old. What? Um, and the stars about him at midday. What? In this year was the day darkened over all lands, and the sun was, uh, was all as it were, master, but three days old, and the stars about him at midday. This was on the fifth of first seed. All who saw it were dismayed, and said that a great event should come hereafter. So it did. For that same year issued forth a greater concourse of devils from the ancient elvish temple, Malada. Such had not been since 
Uh, such had not been seen since the days of King Belharza. Those devils greatly afflicted the land, such that no man could plow, or reap, or seed, and the people appealed to the brothers of Maruk for succor. And then Abbot Cosmas gathered all the brothers and led them to Malada, also known as the Hyphane in the Elvish tongue, and came against it with holy fire, and the foul demons were destroyed, and many devilish relics and books found therein were burned, and the land had peace for many years. Huh? So this dude named Abbot Cosmas gathered all of the homies... He gathered all of the homies. Uh, and then, you know, he fought these devils inside of Malada. And he struck them down with holy fire. And they had peace. Alright, okay. So just freaking some dude just freaking killing the bad guys. Alright, that's all he had to say. So Malada, they have some freaking like uh, devil demon type ish going on going up in that ish. Um, and then some dude named Cosmos Abadas. Stop that ish. So, I mean, I guess that's just, I guess that's just what happened. But that is not for today's video, my friends. We are going to do that for another video. And don't worry, when, once we get to there, we'll recap it. We'll recap it. But here, my friends, we are going to start with the Strange Door quest line. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. I know it's probably like 20 minutes into the vid, right? 16 minutes, not bad. Not bad, it's not bad. Alright, but uh, here we go guys. So you guys see that little just like freaking floating turd in the middle of the water right there? That's where we have to go. In the quest here, I don't even remember how we got this quest. But it is the very first quest in our... that we that, That's in our quest log. And it said, I have heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. Oh, maybe we heard this from like an NPC from Rumors, because I said I've heard a rumor. So maybe that's how we got the quest. So here we go, there's a strange door in the Nibbin Bay, which is right here. Um, so let's go ahead and just check out the vibes. Uh, we'll be, we'll be on our Jesus vibes, right? Let's be on our Jesus vibes. I'm actually feeling the vibe right now. Necklace of, uh, water walking? Ayo. Got him. Wait, what the heck? Oh, okay, I was like, how come you're not walking on water? Put the necklace on and everything. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. So beautiful. It's the so beautiful. That looks like a face. You know, like the eyeballs and there's like a nose and a mouth. Oh, it is a face. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? How come that looks so different from far away? Probably because the textures didn't load. I wish you could like see that from a distance. That would have been really more enticing to maybe make me come over here. Wow, yeah, this is the thumbnail, guys. We already got it. Super easy. We'll take a far shot here. And we'll take a nice little close-up shot, shall we, my friends? Oh yeah. Pose for the camera, baby. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Too creepy, too creepy. Sorry! We're good. And then now we'll take a close-up shot. What's this? Oh, it's just like a little other way to get up here. Wow, really cool little aesthetic here. I mean, I w actually, I wouldn't say it's... Whoa, who's that guy? We just got a little guy chilling out there. Just vibing out. Just freaking straight up hanging out right now. You found a strange door, okay. Oh, we got two guys. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be friendly. Wow, dude, this is such a cool little, um, thing. Nice, guys. What do you guys think, man? What, isn't this gonna be a sick little thumbnail? We'll get a little side shot. Let's get a little, um, let's get a straight shot here. A straight angle. Right here. Let's crouch a little. Actually, we could just put our... Actually, no, let's crouch a little. And yeah, these guys aren't hostile, so perfect. They're not gonna harm me. And then I'll pick out of all those three angles, we'll pick whichever one looks the best. Alright, but let's fully explore everything before, before we start talking. Let's see if there's any, or talking to the people. And let's see, yeah, I want to see if there's any, you know, vegetables or whatever. Alchemist ingredient, alchemy ingredients, we do, we have some mushrooms. What is this? Hydna Mazur. 
different sorts of mushroom worms heads. I just want to try to like grab up all of these things, you know. Just grab me up all of them. Because we're going to go crazy with our alchemy one day. Um, maybe it might be today. It might be today. But we're just going to go absolutely crazy with the alchemy. Because we need to level up. What is this? Putrid Gigantia? Oh, we, we whiffed. Blister Podcap Fungus Stalk. These are cool. Bunch of new like mushrooms and stuff. I love it. Uh, get that. Nothing of use. So here we go. So it looks like we are here at this strange portal. Um, is that what it's called? A strange door. And there's actually a Khajiit and a um, Breville guard here. here comes oh, what the heck? Oh, shoot. Why? Why? Everything is wrong. It can't be done. Stay away from me. I won't go back. You can't make me come. Wait, whoa, whoa, what the heck? I'll kill you all. You're all going to die. Stay back. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Who's this? Belmin Drelith? It's a, um, it's a Dark Elf or a Dwemer, I think that's what they're called. Oh! Why is he hitting him? Oh, no, he's not dead. Oh, he's not dead. I thought he was hitting the Khajiit. I was like, yo, don't hit the Khajiit. What did the Khajiit do? Oh, this guy's kind of strong, though. Oh! Shoot. Um, <laughs> little mistake there. Wait, did we get the book here? We did get it. All right, we. <laughs> uh, I didn't want him to die. I didn't want him to die because he probably maybe had a good dialogue there. Sorry. Uh, let's redo that. Let's redo that. That was cool though. That there was like a there was like some like guy who popped out of the strange portal. It looks so weird from a distance, but yeah. But there's a guy who popped out of the portal, and um, he was talking crazy. He was like, oh, "They'll never take me. Don't let them take me back," or something like that. And then freaking his ass just started swinging on us. It's like, yo, chill. And he actually kind of hurt. He uh, killed the guard, so we gotta make sure that, you know, we take aggro. I don't want... <coughs> I don't want... <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want, um, I don't want them to die. I don't want them to die. Sorry. Uh, okay. <coughs> let's, let's just gather up all the mushrooms again. Make sure that we pull aggro onto homie. I think it was like Belrinth or something like that. And then... Um, yeah, let's just see what this whole little tower thing is about. I mean, not tower, this, uh, strange door thing is about. Um, because this place is, um, it's getting pretty, it's, it's looking pretty crazy, not gonna lie. It's looking pretty crazy. <clears throat> there we go. So let's just go ahead and immediately summon Char. And it looks like he doesn't pop out the portal yet. I think we have to, like, oh, here we go. Why? Everything is wrong. It can't be done. Yeah, he's like madness. I won't go back. He's like, I won't go you back. Make me go back. I will kill you all. You're all going to die. Stay back. Oh, oh, this oh, yeah, let me, let me. No, no, you stay back. Oh wow, we I'd owned him. Back from that door, if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. Okay. So yeah, instead of um. Uh, you know, going through with the, our original, or the first time we did it, we wouldn't have been able, if, if we had gone through the first time, we wouldn't have had this little conversation, because he's, you know, he's dead. But, um, now, since we since were able to save him, we can talk to the homie, Gaius Prentice, Strange Door. I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. I'm just here to warn folks So you go in, and you, and you leave... Crazy. What happened to them? Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly Dang. normal people went in there. And this is what's come out. Oh, really? Scary. 
I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in. F that. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. Go ahead in. I'll be here to clean up the mess when you come out. All right, well, I'll be good, because your boy is a G's. Who the heck is this bug-eyed lady? What do you want? No, go away. I'm not here. What? Unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Useless mortal meat. Walking bag of dumb. Huh? That was it? No other dialogue? Oh. A nice effort, though. Shame is dead. <laughs> These I things happen. Along, not my place. Shouldn't have gone. Bring me a champion. Rend the flesh of my foes. A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemies. What is this lady doing? Really? Do come in. It's lovely in the aisles right now. Perfect time for a visit. Um, that entrance looks very scary. But, you know, we gotta do it. Okay, I think that's all the dialogue that this stranger has to offer. Let's go ahead and check out Belmont Drella. Jeez, yeah, he got dropped. We had to, I mean, we had to get his ass. He started swinging on us. Alright, before we go in, so some stranger just, like, spoke to us. I don't know, like, telepathically or, like, what. But he just spoke to us saying he needs, like, a champion. A mortal champion. And, you know, he said, come to the aisles. So, F it, we're going to the aisles today, guys. We're going to the F and aisles. And honestly, dude, if this is, like, a super long DLC thing, dude, I might just, like, pass on this. I'm not even kidding. But if it is... It, no, we'll just do it. We'll just commit. We'll do We'll do Leia win on... We'll, we'll do Leia... We'll keep Leia win for after, I guess. I mean, because we're already, like, starting it. We already have the whole little story going. If we just leave now, it'll be kind of bad, right? So, let's just continue. Even if it is, like, a super long DLC. Because I, th I think this is the DLC, I think... But, um, yeah, if it is, we're just gonna do it. It's fine. It's nice, it, this is a, this will be a good little, um, you know, step back from what we've been currently doing, you know? So, it'll be a nice little breath of fresh air. So, let's hit the save, though. Let me do a new save. Alright, so this lady, Safara, and Gaius are outside of the portal. I'm assuming that maybe this lady came out of the portal and is not lost her marbles. That's why... Well, I mean, for the most part, she hasn't lost her marble. She's not attacking, you know. Um, but this guy, and then we have this guy over here who's probably just guarding. So this lady... No, go away. I'm not here. Yeah, she's probably, like, she probably went through this-ish, but, um... Or she probably just came out of Did this. Did you hear that? Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh. from nowhere. Mad Men! Oh, where does so he heard it? So he heard it, too. Okay. I get this posting? I don't know. But uh, I'm going in there. F it. So we have door to the fringe. Oh, it's it's bright. So um, yeah, and then let's look at this little thing. So it's like a head with th uh, it's like a head with like three faces on it. Very interesting. All right, F it, we're going in. The fringe is an enclosed area designed to. Oh, I didn't. Even, what the heck? Who the heck is this guy? Is this guy the devil or something? Another more, please. Have a seat. Um, can I just, oh, you can just leave. The Madness of Pelagius? Huh? Oh, I'm not reading that. I'm gonna just take that book, though. Can we, can we, uh, pickpocket him? Y'all, hold on, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I wanna see what happens if we pickpocket him. Actually, we don't, we don't need to save, we can just go back to that one. Let's be so oh, shall shoot. we? Please, have a seat. Haskill? His name's Haskill. So he actually, if you try to pickpocket him, he won't stop you. That's so funny. Alright, F it. Madness of Pelagius, I want to take this. Please, have a seat. Alright, I'm having I have a seat, guy. Okay, now what? He's got like a metronome here. Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Yeah, what's up, guys? What's up, guy? Yes, you have entered and now you are here. Amazing. Truly. Uh, who are you? I am Haskell, 
Chamberlain to the Lord Sheogorath. Ah. Uh, what is this place? So he's Haskell. He's like the, uh, freaking, uh, what do you say, chamber? He's like the, uh, he's like the freaking secretary of, uh, Sheogorath? You approach the Shivering Isles. Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, oh. Lord of the Never There. Never There? Why did that door appear in Cyrodiil? Because my lord wills it to be so. It poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. Um, that's false, because some doorway, guy just popped an out and he's trying to kill us. Perhaps you will accept it for what it is. What do you want with me and the people outside? They entered this realm and were ill prepared. Yeah, that's why their saying, minds right? are now the property of my Ooh, lord. Oh, scary! How can they be cured? Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a no, cure. No, perhaps it is you. I'm about to drop your ass. Maybe we should just start uh, start swinging on this guy. What do you want with me? For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. champion. As for his intent, to attempt to like fathom it is a foolish endeavor. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. Yeah, that's true. What happens now? You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath mm. will find a use for you. And if I go through the door? Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Oh, really? Enter or do not, but make your decision. I have other duties to which I must attend. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... Okay. So, we're actually about to put this on hold. I just freaking blue-balled all you guys. Sorry, Haskell. You got blue-balled. I'm out. See you later. It sucks to be you. Yes? What is it you want? Uh, I'll be back, though. I'll be back to your... To do your little, um, you know, World of Madness vibe. Hey, I'm back, guys. Don't go back in there. I'm warning you. Oh, I already went there, though. No. Go away. Okay. Alright, so what happened was I just looked up Google the playtime of the Shivering Isles DLC and they said that it is roughly around a ten and a half hour playtime. So that's not happening right now. Um, most definitely not happening right now. I thought it was going to be happening because I thought it was just going to be like a one hour, two hour quest. But no, it's about ten hours. So yeah, that's got that's not happening. All right, guys. So I was so what I had planned for today's video was to do this uh, door to Nibbin Bay, and then after that, I was gonna do the gathering the counts um, for help for the aid against uh, aid for Bruma. But I actually now that I'm thinking about it, I need to um, do Leia win before we can do that. So I'm gonna we're gonna just start doing the Leia win um, tour, the Leia win in depth review. So hopefully you guys don't mind. It's a little bit late into the video. About 35 minutes in, and we're you know we're starting, but that's because we had a huge change of plans. So sorry about that, guys. Um, and we already did explore this whole southern area. There's nothing here. Uh, but now it's time to go to Leowin, guys. So let's just um yeah let's go back to the stable. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick, and then oh geez, it's raining hard. Fine greetings to you. Hey guys, what time is it? Oh jeez. Was it because we Sir, entered the door? You too. Is that what caused the rain? I don't know. Let's go inside here. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick and then I'll be back. Alright guys, sorry for uh, teasing you guys like that, for blue balling you guys like that. But yeah, we're not gonna do the Shivering Isles questline just yet. However, 
we are going to be doing it after Leowin, guys. So after we do Leowin, after we do the quest around Leowin, we're going to go ahead and do the Shivering Isles quest um, just to make it up for you guys because this video um, was not going as expected. I wanted to do the Shivering Isles today. Cause I, I didn't know it was going to be a 10 and a half hour DLC. So... Um, definitely want to you know commit like a whole series to that you know so we'll do that after leia win should be uh a-okay um but yeah i just don't want to commit super heavy onto um i just don't want to uh, commit super heavy into doing the shivering isles right now when i have things that i have to do here still in the regular world so not too much, but, you know, I definitely still have some things to do. Oh, jeez. I think it's a bandit fighting a bear. I hope the bear wins. Hey, nice. Um, let's take his soul. Let's be on our Shang Tsung vibes. And just yoink his soul. There we go. Uh, Bandit Bowman. Ooh, I'll take his arrows. I'll take his arrows. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, so we're going to Leowin, guys. We're going to take the scenic route to Leowin. We could literally just fast travel here, but no. What's the fun in that? <clears throat> Let's do the scenic route. And I'm waiting literally an entire 24 hours or whatever... Because I'm sick of playing this game on a YouTube recording video and it freaking raining, being nighttime, thundering all the time. Bro, just give me a regular freaking day, dude. I think yesterday we had it pretty good. I think yesterday we had it pretty good. It wasn't raining a lot yesterday, but today, man, it's, ooh, it's, it's pouring down, baby. It's pouring down. Okay, it's better now, but... It's like 7 p.m. Let's do it 7 a.m. Let's let's start our journey off bright and early, guys. All right. Um, oh, I'm like, dude, I've been like so obsessed recently with SB dunks, and I've been so obsessed with skating recently. I've been like just wanting to be like the best, even though like I'm not really that good. But I have potential. I definitely have potential because I learned how to ollie within like two three months but then i only i landed it one time and i never learned how to land it again after um but you know now i'm picking it back up and i'm getting the feel for everything and it just feels good it just feels good to be you know skating and you know i, I just i don't know it's just like fun i just want to be able to like kickflip over things and like ollie over things like just recently i was just at my mall at, at the mall that i go to and there's like a rock at the mall. And I was just like trying to ollie onto the rock. I was like, F it. Let me just try to be a little skater guy, you know? And we did our, we absolutely did our thing. It was, um, it was a good time there. It was some good stuff there, guys. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately where I live, there are good skate parks, but they're like kind of far from me. They're kind of far from me. Closest good one for me is like 25 minutes, 30 minutes, and then like once you, and you get to the really good skate parks like an hour away from me, which is like it's ugh, dude at that point like it's not even worth it skating at that park or whatever. Like I might as well just skate at the freaking school that's like five minutes away from me, you know. But there are decent parks where I live. It's just like so far from where I live. <clears throat> In an hour really isn't too bad, but like, I don't know. If I have to make that trip every time just to skate a good park, then I'll pass. I'll skate on a basketball court. Basketball courts are fine. Oh shoot, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to be summoned. Do, do, do. But yeah, I cannot wait. I hope I hit these wheats on November 3rd. And I hope everyone who wants to go for them hits as well. Uh, but I, I want to I wanna hit these wheats because I'm trying to freaking skate in these joints. Because those black, uh, the, the gray fog SBs, man. 
I really like those just for like wearing, you know. Um, but if I'm if they're if they're gonna have to get ended up thrashed thrashed up and destroyed, so be it. So be it. So yeah, I'm only skating the gray fogs though if we if we take an L on the wheats. Which, I have a good feeling that we're gonna hit. I just, I don't know. I just got a good feeling we're gonna hit, you know? I just got a good feeling. And, um, yeah. So we got a, pr a pretty long journey to Leowin, guys. So, yeah, we're switching things up. We're switching up the, you know, the title card here. It's not doing the Shivering Isles. It's now, we are currently, um, doing the Leowin tour. We're gonna give you guys a nice little tour of a Leowin. Whoa, a Landro out in just the open? This is what I'm saying. This is like the only thing in Oblivion that feels like it's off. Like, it feels like this doesn't yeah. belong here. This feels like it belongs in like a yeah. sci-fi game, you know what I'm saying? Like, this does not look like it belongs in Elder Scrolls, but... It does. It does. Oh, uh, where am I going? Oh, we gotta go here. <clears throat> so we got like a cave system here. We got some more forts. Um, I do want to get the fast travels, but it's okay. Oh, we got a bandit here. Alright. So we got a lot of enemies on the road to Leowin. Let's just go ahead and deal with this guy swiftly. Swiftly and soundly. And then, um, yeah. There we go. Gotta get her ass real quick. Do we have any Nern Roots here available, potentially? Oh, I see a Nern Root. We have to go to collect 30 more for this freaking a-hole Cinderion. Freaking piece of thong, dude. This guy is freaking asking for so much, and he provides me with the crappiest freaking potion, dude. What the heck? Who are you shooting a fireball at, guy? Man, this guy is... This is cool, though. It's just like a little one-off little dock thing. Really nice. Wow, we got the music. Okay, see, I like this rain. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, come on. I like this rain, though. It's not as heavy. It's nice. Fits the vibe. But that other, that, when it was raining before, it was like pouring, dude. Um, okay, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. We're just, I'm just following the road. I'm not going off the road. You found Reed Stand Cave. Oh, there's a cave right there to the left. I see it. Wow, we got this cool little, like, circle here. And, um, yeah, we just gotta keep going down. We're going to Leowin, guys. We're going to Leowin. We got this cool little thing over there. Little island there. Oh, no, it's not an island. That's just a, um, another piece of land there. Okay. Really, really cool. And, uh, let's just keep it moving. We're just keeping it moving. Leia Win Tour, here we come. MTV Cribs Leia Win Edition. Let's go ahead and pray at this altar. Maybe we'll complete a, one of our quests. Here we go, yep. I have prayed at the Way Shrine of Stendar. So we've prayed at Stendar now. Cool. There's like a bridge over here. Oh! We got ourselves a Daedric statue. Or a Daedric uh, shrine here. Let's go ahead. We get let's let's uh let's uh fast travel. Let's get the fast travel for this one. I'm not gonna start the quest yet. We're gonna start. We're gonna do this once we get the um. Once we get the um. Um. Once we finish Leowin. Do these guys not have pants on? These guys don't even have pants or clothes on. Oh, we're gonna have to come back here later. What did he say? These guys are getting busy. Okay, well, actually, you know what? We're gonna leave these guys to do their thing. This is actually the shrine of Shio Gorath. So literally, we just went from about about to meet Shio Gorath to you know going to his Daedric shrine and seeing his followers there. Well, pretty cool. Um, but we haven't met Shio Gorath yet. So <clears throat> yeah, out of all of those Daedric uh, princes, we have ne not seen any or heard of any of them in the real world, um, besides Shio Gorath, or at least like them having like a presence in the real world. Um, but maybe they just, the game didn't want to expound upon it because they just, uh, focused on Shio Gorath with the Shivering Isles DLC. Maybe that's why the other Daedric Princes and the Daedric Gods took a, um, took a little backseat there. 
But, um, yeah. It would be pretty cool to see, like, all the other, um, Daedric princes, you know, like, brought to life, you know what I'm saying? That would be pretty sweet. Okay. So we have a little town here. Probably don't want to really explore it just yet. We're just gonna, we need to go, we need to go straight to Leowen. We're already really late on our video timing right now. We're like, what, almost, almost an hour in and we haven't even done what we're, we should, like, we're supposed to be doing. Oh, we have to pass through this city in order to go to, um, Leowen. Okay, so we found the Water's Edge. It's like a little town here. We'll, we'll talk to all the NPCs and all of the uh, inhabitants later once we start questing outside of Leowen. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, and more Landros. Just some things that look like they should not be in this game. Should be able to kill this guy with just destruction. No sword at all, right? Oh no. This should be the last one, right? Yeah, nice, perfect. All right, so we have another town. So we have Water's Edge. And then we have another one. Ooh, and an Aelid statue here. White Stallion Lodge. It's marked as like a town when it should be marked as an inn, right? As like a little goblet cup. You see this? Inn of Ill Omen, Farigal Inn. White Stallion Lodge. It's showing like three houses, but I only see one. But maybe, maybe there's more somewhere else. I don't know. We got a boat here. And it looks like we're slowly approaching Leowin, guys. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to go there. But let's not. Let's not. Let's do all that exploring stuff later. Oh no, we are supposed to go. Oh no, we aren't. Oh. Wait, what? Are we? What? We missed the road. Wait, what? Who is this? Imperial Legion... Imperial Legion here. Hello, citizen. I hope you're. Emperors have been. I'm good. Yeah, I'm there chilling, was. bruh. Wait, where was the road? So I guess we just. Oh, it, was, it went up here. I was like, what the heck? What the heck? Who is this guy? What the heck? Dude, I think these guys might be bugged. I think they're supposed to be talking to me. Mike knows much. Tell some. Mike knows many things others do not. Okay, we'll spit it out, man. Some people want special bows that take too long to load and need special arrows called bolts. Mike thinks they are. Ah, idiots. yes, very insightful. Is that all you have to say? Alright, get out of my face. Be seeing you. Get out of my face, you filthy liar. Dirty, filthy liar. Alright, here we go. So, OM OMG, guys, so we have finally made it to Leowin, the second to last city that we have to go through, guys. Holy. Holy. Oh, it looks like we have a, maybe an, a quest starting off the city here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, a Landro. No, 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 let me, let me deal with this. I got this lady. I want you to die. Ow. Yeah, see, this thing do not look like it belongs in the game. Thanks, Ataba. I can't sell you any horse flesh. You have to go inside and talk to Catface. Ooh, we got some Khajiit people here. Leowin? Leowin stands alone. That's what Count Garl says. Only our brave mean? guardsmen to keep the hordes of oblivion at bay. So they say Leowin stands on their own. Maybe they're like a, just like a separate little entity of their own. I don't know. Let's go talk to the owner of the Five Riders Stable. And then we'll head inside Leowin, guys. So uh, if you guys are still watching the video, make sure you hit the like. Hit the sub. Welcome to the Five Riders Stables. I have he does look kind of like a cat. For sale. Uh, okay, so only one. 
He's got a pain horse. Paint horse. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'll pass. Why doesn't the Elder Council send the Legion to help us? There's no telling when another Oblivion mm, Gate will So it open. looks like the citizens are in fear for their lives because the Elder Council isn't sending, is, isn't getting help. Bogak Grobo. Probably the higher ups of Leowin. Books at Southern Books. He's an odd. Okay. Take care. You too. Okay. Let's talk to Homie outside the gate. Yeah, who is this guy? Well met, adventurer. A moment of your time. Oh, for sure. I, if you got a quest, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Wait, who's this lady? Well, here's a fine one. Speak freely. Hey, Margaret. My name is Margaret. Professionally, Margaret? I'm a trade consultant. I offer Ooh, advanced, advanced mercantile, mercantile training. training by the I way. need that. But my real passion is oh. alchemy. I love brewing up new. A woman of many talents. Just for fun. Just my type. It's a pity my busy consulting and training schedule leaves me little time for gathering ingredients. Mm. And heavens for fan that my husband. Oh, your husband. Oh, whoops. Just kidding. I didn't mean to say that earlier about you being my hobby. type. Stirring up trouble between Khajiits and Argonians to help me find ingredients. Okay, her husband isn't helping her. She doesn't even give a quest. Oh, oh God, excuse me. She doesn't even give me a quest. She's complaining, all that stuff. Lay doesn't even give me an offer alone. to quest. That's a quest. Bye. See ya. I hope I can. All right, well, maybe she doesn't need to give me a quest because you're yeah, gonna well. give your que that quest to your husband. All right, Marg Margaret, you go ahead and do that. Hmm. Perhaps you'll be able to assist me. Larexus Calidus. Skuma dealers. Skuma dealers. Dun dun dun. So we have a Larexus Calidus, part of the Imperial Legion. It looks like he is here in Leowin. And we also hearing little complaints from Catface saying that he they need help from the Imperial Legion and they're here, so I don't I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what's up. There's an orc named Mazoga up at the castle. Claims she's a knight. Doesn't look like one to me. Mazoga? Alright, Skuma Dealers. A small group of Skuma Dealers led by a Dunmer named Kylie Sonavo is holed up in the Grayland settlement just up. Oh yeah? I've been trying to catch Lenavo for months, but every time I approach the place, his lookout sees me, and he goes running. Ooh. I need someone to go in there and put a stop to those fetchers. I don't care what it takes. We must get that poison they're selling off the street. Okay, okay. Bring me Lenavo's ring as proof he's been dealt with, and I'll give you the bounty on him. You want me to kill him? Dang, bro. I don't know if I can kill him, guy. Don't turn your back on Lenavo for a second. He wouldn't think twice about burying his blade there. Oh. Alright, whatever you say, Larexus. Lenavo is a snake. Okay. Alright, I mean, I get it. The skooma's bad. Who the heck? I thought there was someone up there. It's a bush. Looks like, um, uh, Lanewin, I mean, you're going through the skooma problem. I don't know, skooma problem. But here we go, guys. We are entering Lewin. First time seeing Lewin in, like, a long time. I don't even know if I have seen this place at all. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this place at all. Let's hear How it. goes it, uh... Yes? Lewin. Orc named Mazoga says she's... Oh, yeah, same a, thing. The Count oh. appears for audiences in the county hall near the throne weekdays between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Yeah, uh yeah? Uh-huh. What? Quest added Mazoga the orc. Wait, what? You can speak to the count near the throne weekdays between eight in the morning and four in the okay, afternoon. Yeah. Why did we get a quest for that though? How come we didn't quest? We didn't get a quest from the other person who was talking about Mazoga. It seems that Count Marius Caro is concerned about an orc named Mazoga at Castle Leowin. Though uh, this orc claims she is a knight, perhaps. Marius Caro would welcome my aid in finding out more about her. So we're already getting quests, guys. I like this. I like this. You too. You too. Alright, so here we go. This is the Leia Win tour guide. Get your snacks. Get your drinks. Refill your water bottles. We're about to go through every single building that we... Except for the Fighter's Guild, because we're going to do a whole separate thing on Fighter's Guild. But we're going to go through every single building, talk to all the NPCs. Uh, I am going to avoid a couple of quests, though. 
um, just for the purpose of you know because we're gonna do that in the next video so when we do that in the next video it won't be like already you know started up already and stuff so certain things I am going to avoid there is one other thing that I am going to avoid as well it has to do with um, yeah this right here the shrine of sanguine after I provided the offering to Sanguine, the Daedra Prince spoke to me. Sanguine believes that the Countess of Leowin is too stuffy and wants me to do something about it. She will be hosting a dinner party tomorrow, and I am to sneak into the castle undetected and cast the spell of Stark Reality on her. So this we'll probably have to do after all of our quests are done, because maybe something might happen, her relationship might change with us if we, you know, get in trouble, but I don't know. We'll, we'll do that last, though. Um, but yeah, so some quests we are going to avoid. I think I'm going to avoid the castle for the time being. We'll go inside and look at it, but I won't talk to any NPCs. But um, let's go ahead and start the um, Leia Wind journey by um, just checking out the left side. Let's go left, and then we'll go just clockwise. We'll go clockwise. We got the beggars home here. Looks like we got probably some living quarters here. Some aloe vera just growing right by the church here. You know, this is a, um, it's a lodge. So we had the Five Claws Lodge. Rancid Radirsha. Oh, she's rancid. She's probably a homeless lady. One more coin and I can get Yeah, the yeah. All right, here you have a coin. Think. You have another one. Think. And another Think. one. Blessings of Mistara upon you. Thank you. No problem. All right, let's check out the Five Claws Lodge. Let's see the vibes. So we've just got a watermelon and a pumpkin. Good stuff here. Looks like we got an Argonian owned bar. Witsai Dutsai. Welcome, stranger, to the five claws. Food and beds, cheap and good. But most of all, your hostess promises always clean. Okay, nice. Nice Witsuduchi little pitch there. Gives you her guarantee. Everything clean, always, or you do not pay. Oh, okay. Cool. No new dialogues. Leowin stands alone. That's what Count Carl said. Have no a look new at my dialogues. Words. That's cool. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Dude. Oh yeah, we gotta throw all these back in our um house. All right. So which side? Which side? Which side? Uh. Okay. We have someone in that room there. We can't talk to him though. Uh, Darji. Let's talk I'm to Darji. Darji. I'm a Kaji huh? in disguise. Want to see me lick my butt? What the heck is this type of timing <laughs> this guy on? <laughs> that one never gets old. Oh, it's about to get old. You say it to me again. I'm a freaking Khajiit guy. I was walking past Rosentia Galenis's home the other day. Better watch your tone. These strange animal noises or something huh? from inside. Very odd. Mm -hmm. Rosentia. Okay. Oh, and he actually provides a uh, new dialogue. So after you hear, uh, hear about the rumors, he gives you new dialogue. That's why you guys always have to go to the options, guys. So Rosentia Galenus. Every time I pass by that woman's house, I hear odd animal noises and smell a foul odor. Ugh. Maybe she's caring for some sick pet or something. Or maybe... Whatever it or is, maybe so, no, we're not gonna go down it's there. Surprising that a wealthy woman like that wealthy let property fall into such disarray. Interesting. Quest added: Whom gods annoy? Huh? And this guy sells stuff. Uh, I don't know what you're talking oh, about. No. I don't buy or sell. Mm. Goodbye. All right, Darji. So he provided us a quest. Whom gods annoy. I'm hearing a strange report of odd noise and smells coming from around Rosentia Galenis's house here in Leowin. Perhaps I should go and investigate. We're getting a bunch of quests. We have three already. All right, let's go ahead and talk to the other Argonian who's at this bar or this lodge. You're this guy looks more like an actual so dragon. I'm Otumil, but I didn't Otumil? do anything. Otumil? Really. My oatmeal? It wasn't me. He didn't do anything. <laughs> what? No, really, it wasn't me. What do you mean? Never. Rosentia? Every time I pass, whatever it is. Oh, both these guys probably provide that quest. They say. So he's saying that like he's he might be guilty uh, of something, but he said it wasn't him. All right, that was cool. Five Claws Lodge. Five Claws Lodge. Pretty cool place. That's our first little um 
uh, in there. We got the dividing line, um, the, you know, little armor smith guys. Hey guys, why are Oregonians here? The dividing Tons line use. between a live hero and a dead one is a sharp sword. Oh, the best guys. You can afford from Tunzius. Because you don't want to be on the dead guy's side of the line, do you? No, I don't. Does he have any new dialogues? Anyone look? Guys, I forgot to, um, I need to take a new thumbnail. I need to take a new thumbnail because we're not doing the Shield Gorath thing. We're doing the, um... We're doing Leia Win, so we gotta change the thumbnail to Leia Win. Let's get a nice pick of Leia Win. I take it you hey, Idar. Hey, this guy's well, name sounds it? familiar. I'm Itar. Say, did you hear what that Argonian said? What's his name? Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Who? He said any Argonian can kick any Khajiit's butt to breakfast any day of the week. <laughs> you believe that? Heck no, because I'm a Khajiit. I think he's wrong. I know Khajiit can kick Argonian butt. Anytime, anywhere. And you can tell everyone I said so. Alright, I'll tell- I'm gonna tell everyone. I'm gonna tell everyone I'm gonna instigate. I'm gonna instigate. Pay attention, and you I'm gonna instigate, and then we're gonna get Idar Let's jumped. see what we've got here. We're gonna get him jumped on. See ya. Okay, so that's these- these guys' this, uh, fine little store here. Uh, what was this called again? The Dividing Line. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, okay. So, I'm digging the aesthetic here. I like how each of these houses have like different paints, painted paint jobs. Best goods and guarantees. Alright, let's see it. They better have the best goods. I'm gonna flip and throw a fit. Uh, okay, that's the end of this area. Looks like there's living out, living home, living quarters over there. Who is this guy? You're a sneaky Roger so here. Go ahead, please. Rumors. Have you been near Rosentia? Oh, Gavis everyone's house talking about recently. Rosentia. Smells horrible. Like she left some meat. Dang, what's spoil. going on with this chick, huh? What's going on Goodbye. with her? What's going on with home, girl? No one knows. No one knows. Oh, they're staring at me heavily. Are you guys okay? Gundalas guarantees everything almost free. At best oh, goods free. and guarantees, retail service at warehouse prices. Mm hmm. That's what they all say. No new dialogue. I heard that some cult called. Layaway. Why doesn't the elder. Okay. You too. Elsinia. Go ahead, please. Rumors? I've heard that Dagael knows a lot about mysticism. Oh, and sheep. sheep. Dagael? Dagael? Take care. Okay. Um what's up here? Their living quarters probably. Yeah, let's not let's not do that. Alright, see you guys. No, we're we're good. We're leaving. I'm leaving. I don't wanna, you know, worry you guys. Best goods and guarantees. Pretty dope place. Pretty sick place. Oh, this is that guy's house. Roger here's Roger here's a house right there. All right, and then we got a house right here. Singor's house. So here are the living quarters right here. Darji's house. Let's hear it. Beto, Julieta. Oh, wait, husband and wife. Beto Plotius. I'm a faithful servant of Leowen and the Emperor. God's rest his soul. He's a. Um. He was a. Right hand man for the Emperor? Really? Well, fight. I mean, we are the right hand man for the Emperor right now. Take care. Julita Plotia. Beto's wife. Have you been near Rosentia? Everyone's talking about Rosentia's. Yeah, okay, I know. Bye. I need to go look at I need to go t see how bad it smells. I know. Who's this guy? Kantav Channels in? Welcome, Bill. Huh? Rumors. The Count's been asking questions about some orc. And then the orc, Mazzetti. right, yeah. Uh, Rosentia and then the orc, hey. yeah, okay. So that's a, that's basically the main quest that everyone's talking about. Oh, and this is the house that's for sale. Um, looks like honestly a piece of thong, but... Um, I don't know, it might change, I might change my mind if it, you know, the place... Um, uh, if Leowin's pretty chill. If the vibes here at Leowin are chill. Do -do -do. 
All right, and they have this cool little pond here with the little um, pier there at the end or a deck or whatever. And what else do we have to explore for Leowin? So we started on the left side, right? Started here. Boom, bam. We got some houses. More houses. And let's just keep wrapping around. Let's just keep wrapping around. We gotta go to the church eventually as well. As well. What's this? Uh, add jar. Uh, add out a jar. Add, 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 Dang, this guy's house is huge. How come the house that's for sale is some freaking BS, but then this guy's house, Adarji's house, is freaking insane. Dang, look at this guy's house. What the flip? Rosentia. Oh, this is Rosentia's house. Okay, this is Rosentia's house. Yo, these houses are huge. How come they didn't give us these houses? Jabari. Alvo, Uvani. These names sound familiar. Mahe. Dang. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the heck? Who is this? Why, Why is he attacking me? Dude, I didn't even do anything. I need to find a guard. Where's a guard? I don't want to just, like, fight him. I mean, everyone else is swinging in on him, but uh, guard. Let's just let's let's freaking bring this guy to the guard. Wait, why is this guy attacking me? For real, like, why is he attacking? Me? Where are all the guards? Here we go. All right, let's see who he attacks. All right, he's attacking. Yeah, he's attacking this guy. Oh, okay, we got the. Okay, there we go. Yeah, get this guy. Get this guy up out of here. Oh, this might be the thumbnail. That might be the thumbnail. This everyone's just swinging on, dude. Oh, he, he's dead now. Dang, dude is just staring over his lifeless body, huh? All right, well let's see what I, I don't know. What do you? What do you want, man? We just what do you mean what do I want? Singor? All right, well we're taking this dude's key. Yeah, we're taking his key. We're going into we're going straight up inside his house. F this dude. This dude straight up just like started swinging on me. Where did he come from? I was just like walking in the town and he just attacked me. Let me save real quick. Let me let me see what happens. Let me see. Let me Google what Singor is supposed to do. Is he supposed to like freaking flip out on you? Is Singor supposed to be hostile? Uh, Singor Oblivion. God, my spelling is so bad. Um, wait, Singor Oblivion. Uh, 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 uh! Okay, I'm making sure my mic works. Uh, Singor, he's a member of the Fighters Guild, although he never sets foot in the local guild hall. He is also a Mythic Dawn sleeper agent and will attack you on site after the Dragon Shrine quest. Okay. Okay. So he is a Mythic Dawn agent. He's a sleeper agent. Um, uh, well, I mean, I guess he's dead now. Um, I mean, honestly, I didn't really want to do that, but, I mean, he, like I said, like I said, he started swinging on me. Dude started swinging on me. Uh, where's Singor's house? If just because of that, we're gonna go inside this house and just rob everything from this dude's house. I don't give a F about this guy. Yeah, this dude's house? I'm gonna rob everything from this dude's house. Jeez. Alright, where's your house, buddy? Singor. Man, and of course this guy's got the most ass house in the freaking place, dude. Who is this guy? Kalia Draconis? I'm Kalia Draconis, captain, captain of the Leowin okay. Guard. I hope we will not meet in my official capacity. <laughs> ha 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 ha, Kayla, so funny. Okay, Leowin. Guard stays inside the city walls for the duration of the crisis. Count Caro's orders. We're not going to risk another Kavach here. Okay. Rumors? Sharina is good with a blade. Sharina? Okay, nothing else. Ooh, yo, I'm so excited to skate today, guys. Today I'm gonna be really practicing my ollies and my kickflips. But mainly my kickflips, because I have my ollies pretty much down packed. 
Um, they're not the clean, they're not the best, they're not the cleanest, but I have them down, you know, I have Ollie's down. They could be a little bit more cleaner, but we'll work on that today, but I'm mainly focusing on learning how to kickflip today. So hopefully we can get a cool little kickflip progression video on TikTok. That, that should be fun, guys. That should be fun, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, let's... Let's check out the back ends from in Leowin, the backyards. Just like got some water here. No, actually there's nothing too crazy going on here. All right, let's keep it moving. We're almost kind of done going through Leowin a little bit. Um, and we're just talking to all the NPCs we see. I'm not gonna like really go out of my way to like find them all, you know? But um, the ones that we see, we're, t we're talking to them. Well, we talking to them, all right. Wow, we have this really cool little shrine here of... I, I don't even know who this is, but someone really cool looking. Uh, okay, and there, there's no one here, really? What time is it? It's only 5 p.m. No one's out and about enjoying this lovely afternoon with me? It's just me? Is it just me? Is it just me? Is this so so good? I shouldn't have the uh very Blackwood Company Hall, okay. So we have the Blackwood Company Hall, pretty much the um rivals of the Fighters Guild. Let's check them out. Hey, what's up man? Jafazir. Should we talk to him? Commander Jafazir. He's a commander. Your servant. I am second in command. Second in command, of the dang. Blackwood Company. The company provides expert jihad for selection. Jihad? What's jihad? Very discreet. Um, he doesn't give any quests. Uh, let's just let's just take a little yeah. peek around the Blackwood Company place. These guys are all decked out in freaking gear, dog. But let's check out there. Let's check out the Blackwood crib. Blackwood Company training hall. Interesting. You have the hat. Gil. Ba uh, the, the basement of the Blackwood Company Hall? Okay. Let's check the upstairs. We're just going through everything that we can explore. Jeetum Z's room. I've heard many tales. Everyone has... Uh, this guy has his own room. Oh, he probably has his own room because... Ooh. He probably has his own room because he's um the leader. So that's probably who we have to end up talking to. Uh, wow, this place is nice. They got like a lot of books here. Really, really, uh, really, really cool. A new guild for fighters. Yeah, and this is the, um, basically, basically telling everyone it's basically just the Fighters Guild 2.0, you know? Um, uh, okay, that's cool. The Blackwood Company. <clears throat> cool little building there. We're gonna definitely talk to all the NPCs there once we start questing. And we're gonna pick up some of the quests that they provide. So don't you worry, guys. Um, some, like I said earlier, some of the NPCs, some of the buildings we're not going to go into because we're, you know, we're doing this stuff later, just like this Fighters Guild. Uh, we'll go inside the Fighters Guild just so I could show you guys as much as I can. I don't have any keys anywhere. Go on. You have the hand. Uh, I don't have any access to keys because I have not I even joined the Fighters Guild moment. yet at all. But, um, go ahead. we can explore whatever is unlocked. So we just have, like, some living quarters, guys in just armor. Uh, looking like they're ready for battle, you know. We have another little living room here, or, um, a bedroom here. Join the guild and fight for gold. I, I am gonna, I am gonna, um, I'm gonna join. Just give me a sec, though. Oh, let's not, let's not unlock that. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's all we can really explore for now. So that's the fighters guild. Um, and then we could check out the mages guild. I'll probably just put talking on NPCs on hold just because what time are we at we're at an hour 21 for this video and honestly um I feel like I want to keep this video a little bit short uh, we'll do all of the talking for the NPCs uh th in the next video so that's just gonna you know get that out the way we got the major skill this dude look well, like freaking yeah, you guys what is up with this dude's face this dude looked like he like wasn't sure if he was like a baby, has like a baby face or not. What the heck? Well, 
Here's a fine one. Okay, so we just got the. Oh, here we go. Um, here, yeah, we'll do all this stuff tomorrow. We'll do all this stuff tomorrow. All right, so let's go focus on the regular stuff. Oh, it's closed. Uh oh. So we have to make sure it's daytime again. Whoopsie daisy. So yeah, Fighters Guild, uh, we're just gonna put that on hold, but Mage's Guild, we're gonna put that on hold too for tomorrow. Every other building though, we're gonna go through. We're gonna take a peek inside the castle as well. I don't wanna interact with anyone in the castle, not yet, because we have quests associated with those people, and you know, we, I don't wanna you know start anything just yet. I wanna make sure we have everything for the next video. I'll do all of that for the next video. So let's check out the buildings that we can check out though. So we have Southern Books, which is like not open or something. Like, what's up? The door is red, meaning that we can't go inside or else we're gonna get fined. So let's just check the other buildings. This is Fighter Guild, Fighters Guild. Let's check the other buildings. Maybe it'll turn yellow soon or like whatever. Uh, and then we got the chapel here. All right, let's check out the chapel. <clears throat> we got a graveyard. Excuse me. We got a graveyard here in the backyard. Uh, we got a topless Argonian guy. Put a flipping shirt on, guy. Yeah, here you go. You have a coin. Use this coin to freaking buy a flipping shirt, guy. I'm sick of seeing your freaking scaly nipples in my face all the time. Get that ish out of here, you freaking indecent exposure looking ass. About a freaking call the freaking guard on you all right here we go so we are at the chapel of zenithar let's check out the vibes let's talk to a good old um mr priest guy here welcome pilgrim hello so we have avarice Adas. the dividing line is a good place oh, yeah, I've been to buy there. We a sharp there. blade of course you're likely to hear some of Tunzia's stories if you hang around. Mm, okay. Anything, anything what new? What can I interest you in? He sells uh, regeneration spells. Cool. Don't need any for now. Goodbye. Solana Blandia. Solana Blandia, healer of the Leia Wind Healer. Chapel. Okay. Bless the nine and all the faithful. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Rumors. Good news from Kavach for a change. The last of the Daedra have mm -hmm. been. Farewell. Let's talk to this Sith Lord looking guy. Hello. Oh. Where'd that Sith Lord looking guy go? What the heck? There you went. Where the heck? Where, what, where did he go? You have the hands of a healer. Yeah, what are you looking so sketchy over Sorry. here for, Savazi? Count's Mage, Castle healer. Count's Mage? Okay. Rumors. I understand that Sadrasa is oh, still I had trying a fart, to guys. a potion Sorry. to cure TMI. skooma addiction. Sadrasa? Okay, she doesn't have anything to say. Alright, so we have a Khajiit mage here. I just wanted to, you know, check her out before she dipped out. Oh, we can actually go to the chapel hall here, too. A pleasure to see you. Hey, Kantav Chainolzin. Rumors? The Count's been asking questions about some orc. And then the orc, yeah, 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 whatever. Bye. <clears throat> Knights of the Nine. Hey, so this is the living quarters, right? Yeah, where they just chill. They sleep. Oh, dang. Yo, what's good, bro? It's time for you to go. No, it's time for you to go. This place is mine. This is my area. This is my home. This is my home, buddy. Can't do anything about this. <clears throat> it was unlocked, so I mean, I'm just going in. We're not. We shouldn't be. We shouldn't be getting in trouble. Undercroft. Let's see what's in the undercroft. Last time we went to the undercroft, we found a bunch of ghosts, and here we are. We have more ghosts here. So it looks like in the freaking bottom of all these chapels, they just hold a bunch of dead guys here. Crazy, man. These guys really gotta, like, clean this-ish up, bro. Mother has gotta, they, like, seriously. No, like, seriously, these dudes are stuck on Earth. They're not supposed to be here on Earth. They're about to, they're supposed to be gone to the freaking Shadow Realm. Mother F is still here on Earth. That's not how it's supposed to be. 
They gotta let they gotta let you go. What the hell? Oh hell no. Oh, we're getting attacked. Okay. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. Are these guys gonna end up chasing me? Wait, why did these guys attack me? Oh, there they are. Let's use the guards to help kill these guys for me. Dang, these guys move slow as heck. Alright, well, I, I I don't know. I don't even think I attacked anyone. But, um... Oh, it looks like everyone's getting ready. Oh, dang! Oh, they, they got... They, they came here fast. Alright, are we, are we about to start swinging? I don't want to kill these guys. Um, where are the guards? There's like no guards here. Dude, these NPCs might die. This is the power of fall down and bleed to death. There's a guard, thank you, Jesus. Ow. Why did this guy why did you why are you attacking me, buddy? Yeah. Alright, uh, there we go. We have some fighting going on. We have some protection from the guards here. Let's get this over with. That's the best you can do. Come on, guard. Let's go, baby. Oh wait, I'm about to die. Hold on, I need a heal. All right, we're kind of dodging this guy pretty hard. All right, nice. We got one. No, we just have to deal with this guy. That was weird, though. I don't know why these guys attacked us. I don't think we even attacked them. Ow. I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. You pathetic worm. I want the uh, guard to die, low key. Oh, he didn't die. Alright. Oh. No, 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 no. What's in here? Just ectoplasm? Um, okay. That was, that was different. Um, let's go explore the final area, which is this bookstore, right? Can we go back into the bookstore or is it still closed? What's up with the time? What's up with the opening time for this place? It doesn't open. Is it always just permanently closed? This place is huge, by the way. Yeah, it's still just a red door. I'm seeing a red door symbol, so F that. Um, let's go to the final area, though. Oh, this is a northeast gate? Wait, what? <clears throat> I didn't even notice that. But yeah, I think we explored everything. Um, we didn't explore people's inside people's houses, obviously, because we, we could get in trouble. But we'll do that over what? the course of, like, this whole series. <clears throat> of this whole, um, uh, Leia Wind series. You too. So don't you worry. Anything that we missed, we eventually just end up, you know, hitting. So don't worry, guys. All right, let's check out the castle, though. Let's check out the castle, though. How can I help you? Um. Go ahead. I don't know. What is this? Huh? Oh, Oblivion Gate. Okay. So this leads back to Cyrodiil. Oh, I need to get the thumbnail. Wait, we need to get the thumbnail by the end of this video. I'll do it. We'll do it. Can't go in there. Let's go in here. What? You're a Holy, that scared me. Sword. You're a sneaky look. Sorry, no time to talk. Um, wait. What? I thought this was the castle. This has to be the castle, right? Freaking oh, we gotta go inside Singor's house. Let's go inside Singor. Here we go. Here's the castle. Jeez. Uh, let's go inside Singor's house after this. So here we go. I don't want to talk to anyone. Here's the orc, right? It is the orc, Mazoga. 
muscles on you. Thanks, guys. All right, so we're just checking out the place. This is gonna be kind of a little like boo bougie version of the uh, tour guide because you know we have already pre we already have quests associated with the place. You know, let's check out the dungeon. Let's see if there's anyone in jail. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have evidence uh, case right there. Um, prison. Yeah, let's just get this guy to open it for us. What can I do? Visit a prisoner. Since we don't have any Argonians, I can allow it. The Countess won't allow visitors to Argonian prisoners. Really? I'll be watching though. So Argonians can't be visited, but they don't have any Argonians. That might come in handy later. Maybe I don't know. All right, open this thing up, baby. Open it up for your boy. All right, who's in jail? Which one of you suckers is in jail? Which one of you idiots got caught? Prisoners may not accept. There isn't even a prisoner in here, dude. Man, these guys aren't even doing their job. Man, get out of here. The prisoners. All right, I'm out. This place is lame. No touching the locks. This place was lame. What's new with you? They say that slavery has been abolished in all of the Oh, are they having the dinner party in here? Hold on. There's a dinner party here tonight. No one gets into the room until it's prepared. And no one gets in the room even after it's prepared, unless they're on the list. And even if they're on the list, they'd better be dressed for it. Oh dang guy, okay, okay. This is important to the countess, and no one is going to muck it up. Got it? Got it. AKA, I'm gonna muck it up. And then who do we have here? Yes. Count Marius Caro and the Count's bodyguard. Uh, oh, we got another door here. What's over here? Basement. So they're having their little dinner in here. We could do the quest, but not yet. We're not gonna do it yet. We're doing the quad. We're doing all the quests tomorrow, guys. We're doing all the quests tomorrow. So Leia win. I think that should be it for Leia win. Oh, we have a uh, Zavi here. She's just inside the. The castle now. Um, that's not all that Leywin has to provide. We did miss a couple things, guys. Um, a good amount of things. So next video is going to um, be those things. Let's check out Singor's house before we dip, though. And I also need to take a thumbnail. And of course, it's foggy. It's freaking overcast. It's BS. It's just... Just end this nightmare. End this nightmare. Alright, uh, if you guys have been enjoying the video, uh, appreciate you guys a bunch. Hit the like, hit the sub, leave a comment. Love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting. It means a lot. It's still foggy. Dude, get this freaking BS horse shit out of here, bro. Sorry. Sorry, I'm raging. I'm raging. It's happening. It's happening. It's consuming me! No, I'm just kidding, guys. It was consuming me though, like three, four videos ago. It was definitely consuming me. The rage was definitely consuming me. Um, and you guys can watch that video, watch it consume me. I forget which video it was, but it was, it was like three videos ago. It was, it was, it was getting my ass. <coughs> I was like, am I seeing blue things, guys? There's like blue little wisps in the air. You guys see that? That's pretty cool. Um, all right, Singor, your house is mine. Everything that you own is mine. It's mine. So let's go to Singor's house. Of course there is a guard here when I want to enter. All right, now there isn't. Boom! Do we have a, we should not have a bounty. And this good, this guy should be a loner. He should not have like a wife or kids or anything. They didn't even start introducing kids until Skyrim, but he should not have like a wife or anything. Uh, okay, yeah, we're good. I think, unless one pops up out of nowhere. So this guy is a Mythic Dawn sleeper agent, so we should find some like maybe potentially sketchy, incriminating things in this guy's house. So that's gonna be pretty cool to, you know, uncover together, guys. Isn't it? Isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not. This could be our house, too. This could be our house, too. 
Yeah, we don't even need to purchase the house here. They already just give you a house, you know. Okay, here we go, here we go. Gold, I'll take it, I guess. Just one, but... F it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Right here. It's literally on the dude's bed. This is what I do with my shoes that I really like. I put the shoes that I really like on my bed as I'm sleeping. If this guy put the book of the mythic dawn next to him while he's sleeping... Dude, he he's he's gone. He's 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 just gone. It's too late for him. He's sleeping with the book. He's freaking eating dinner with it, showering with it. It's too late for the boy. It's too late for Singor. Well, actually, it's quite literally too late because he's he's dead now. But um, yeah, dude just had the mythic dawn commentary just lying on his bed. Um, you know, I can understand him, though. I do the same exact thing with my shoes. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah, that's Singor's crib. Let's... I need to take a thumbnail of Leowin as a whole. Uh, I'm thinking going outside. Right? I don't think there was, like, a good angle to get everything. Leowin looks cool though. It likes it kind of looks like we're like in the middle of a swamp. We're like in like Florida or something. Have pity on an old Dude, I did. I gave you some freaking gold and you stood in buy a shirt. Dude probably spent it all on freaking skooma, dude. This freaking guy. This flipping guy. Alright, um. I guess this will just have to be the thumbnail. I don't know. I mean, it's gotta it's gotta work. I'm gonna go skate after this though. This, it's gonna be so sick. This is just it just has to do. Um, let's end the video. With, let's end it somewhere. What what video? What time are we at? We're at about an hour and 40 minutes, but we didn't even get the um, Leia win tour started until like an hour, or not an hour, like 30 to 40 minutes into the video. So I think this is pretty good for a little tour video, hopefully, for you guys. Who will help an old I already did help you. Freaking guy. Let's just end it in here. I don't know. Let me take off my ring of Kajidi, though. Okay, my friends, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Appreciate all of you guys that already do do that. Seriously, I do. It really means a lot to me. 500 subscribers. I'm gonna tell you guys my ghost story, so you guys definitely want to get the channel to 500 subscribers. I doubt we're gonna be able to get it by November. I mean, October 31st, because it's already. You know, five days away from there and we're not anywhere close. But thanks, guys, for those of you guys who did run up the subs during the month of October. I think I gained like 20-something subscribers in this month of October. So for the guys that did do it, yo, you guys are awesome. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get 500 subscribers. But I'll still have that milestone up for whenever we get it. So once we get it, I'll just tell you guys the story right then and there. Um, but yeah, next video is going to be a lot more um, exciting. We're going to be doing all of the quests here in Leowin. It's going to be pretty fun. Pretty much just going over all of the fine details of the place. And yeah, so I'll see you guys then. That's going to be, you know, a lot of fun. It's looking like a pretty good city so far. Um, and I want to see what it, what more it has in store. We still haven't even um, went to, we haven't even talked to anyone in the Mages Guild either. So that's going to be good to do. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace!